What's up everyone? The last 24 hours in the Celebrity Big Brother house have been an absolute dumpster fire, an inferno. Um, it has been crazy, which is why I'm saying burn baby burn. We've got so, so much to talk about and you're not going to believe half of it. You are not going to believe it, folks. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Alright folks, now right before we get started, um, I would really appreciate it if you haven't uh, already. Please hit the subscribe button. We are incredibly, and I mean incredibly close, to 11,000 subscribers. I do feel like we could hit this today or tomorrow. So um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And also please hit the like button. That really helps me out a lot. And uh, while you're at it, hit the bell icon if you want to get notified for every single time a brand new upload goes live on the channel. Alright guys, now get ready, put your goggles on, put your, your swimming caps on, anything that you put your flippers on, your, 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 your diving gear, your snorkel, anything like that, get ready to put it on as we dive into the dumpster fire of Big Brother. I cannot believe the shenanigans that have been happening over the past 24 hours. Twitter has been ablaze. I feel like I keep making these fire references because it has been a dumpster fire. Um, it is just crazy. I found a moment there just to kind of go, oh my God, just in my head, um, because I know you guys are about to feel the same in a second, and I'm sure a lot of you do already, having heard what happened. We came out of um, fr uh, Friday night being incredibly excited that Carson had won head of household, and we thought, yes, it's going to be a flip this week. Things are going to get really mixed up in the house. Why can Big Brother fans never get what we want? <sighs> Let's talk about it, folks. So yesterday in the house, Misha and Todrick had the wise idea, and I will say it's fantastic gameplay, but um, it's painful to watch. So Misha and Todrick basically got into Carson and Cynthia's ear and convinced them that Shayna wants both of them out. They somehow manipulated them into believing that and thinking that Shayna was getting ready to get rid of Carson last time and stuff like that. And the big factor that we're all thinking right now is Carson... Shayna used the power of veto on you, which she did. Yet Carson still bought exactly what Misha and Todrick were saying. He believed that Shayna was out to get him out. After she, she used the damn veto on him, is that not enough, Carson? It's horrible, It's because you're seeing your favourites getting totally blindsided and manipulated and you just kind of want to give the head a shake and say, please wake up, she used the veto on you. Just, But they weren't buying it and the further the time went on, the more and more they were getting sucked into these lies. And then Cynthia was jumping on the bandwagon and she was really pushing it more than Carson saying, we've got to get Shayna out, she's the one, she's the manipulating one, she's, the, she's out to get us and stuff like that. We are in the deep end folks we are in the deep end and we are struggling to get out we're drowning we're drowning folks and there's no there's no there's no lifeguards there's no coastal support we're just drowning and going further and further down until we hit the bottom of the ocean yay i i i, I don't even know what to make of this situation apart from craziness and dumpster fire those are the the three words craziness dumpster fire i would like to hear what everybody else thinks of this situation um it just kept going further and further and further. And Todrick, this is where I'm going to move away from game and talk personal for a second. Todrick was really kind of being quite mean about Shayna, saying, you know, if she, she hasn't worked to get here as much as everybody else has and she's only married famous people, you know. We've all had to work really, really hard and we've all got... I, I, this guy is so rude in the way he was saying these things. I mean, listen, right. Maybe... Shayna is, is definitely more famous... For, for being somebody in the public eye rather than somebody who is a dancer or an actor or a, you know, whatever. That doesn't make her any less of a person at all, which is why I can't condone people attacking people like that and saying stuff like that. People get to, to where they are in different ways and um, and you shouldn't shame them for that. They're all on Celebrity Big Brother. Todrick got the same, same job as, as Shana got and that is being a house guest in Celebrity Big Brother, so shame on Todrick for saying that, I have to do uh, mention that. Um, there's also an article going around where Chris Kirkpatrick did a, uh, an exit interview after he left the house, and I'm bringing this up because I feel like people should know it, people need to know what's going on in the house, that's what I do. I, I, I talk about the live feeds and, and I talk about what's going on in the house, and Chris Kirkpatrick said that apparently on the day he had left, Todrick had basically told him that he is a terrible father and he's gonna embarrass his children while on Celebrity Big Brother. That is so cruel. If Todrick did say that, I'm saying it's an if because we didn't get to see it, but 
Chris Kirkpatrick has no, there's no incentive of him having to lie and bring that up. I just think if Todrick has said that, that is absolutely vile and disgusting. I never get this serious in talking about what people have said, but that is truly vile and disgusting if he said that. Chris Kirkpatrick, while he made some maybe questionable game moves, he seemed like a really nice stand-up guy, and um, I'm I'm disgusted in Todrick. Um, it's 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 not me saying I'm cancelling him because you all know where, where I stand with that. I've brought it up several times. I don't agree with cancel culture. I feel like everybody needs an opportunity to grow, but those comments. I still think Todrick has a chance to grow, I'll give him that, but just on face value, those comments are disgusting. If he has said that, um, I'm just disappointed on 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 a high level, and I, it's just, it's sad to see, it really is. Now, of course, the game does continue, and we have our nominations. So, Carson basically decided after all the Shana, Sh- sorry, I keep saying Shana, Shana rigmarole, um, that... He would probably try and backdoor her, backdoor her or put her on the block afterwards. Um, so the initial nominations are Misha and Todd. Not Todd Rick, just Todd. Todd Bridges. Um, and I've seen an awful lot of campaigning on Twitter saying, Shayna for veto. We want Shayna to win the power of veto because right now, Cynthia and Carson have totally messed up their game and it's going to be hard to see them come back from this. Uh, Misha and Todrick are going to gain control next week and probably pick them off. So, for me, on a personal, on a game level, I'm going to continue to critique people and say, you know, Carson and Cynthia have played terribly there, and Todrick and Misha have played incredibly there, uh, having been able to flip it round. So maybe some moral questioning, but on a game level, fantastic. Shayna is the person I'm rooting for now, on a personal level. That's who I'm rooting for. I, 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 don't get me wrong, Carson and Cynthia, I really, really like. Um, Carson, I've um, I'd never actually seen him on anything before Big Brother because I'm not, um, I don't follow Drag Race or anything like that, uh, or anything else he's been on. I'm not really sure, but I'm really impressed. I, I, I don't know. Obviously, I know a lot of you guys know Carson beforehand from watching him on things, but like to me, I'm totally new to Carson, and I'm incredibly entertained by him. He just seems like a really funny and nice guy. Um, so yeah, that's that's an interesting one. But it's a shame because I was rooting for Carson, but now he's done this, and I'm like, oh, I'm don't get me wrong, I'm still rooting for him, but. If we're talking for somebody who's got their head in the game that I'm rooting for, it's Shayna. I really hope she wins the power of veto. Keeps noms the same, and then they can send Misha or Todd out the door, still getting rid of somebody from that side of the house, and then they can buy more time to maybe get back on track. It's going to be hard, but they might be able to do it if they can buy some more time. But anyway, Misha and Todd are on the block, and uh, Shayna is the plan to go up. But there's a couple days still, so we never know what could happen before eviction night. Carson told Shayna towards the end of the day, he said, it's been a crazy day, but you're still in it. Um, Maybe, just maybe we can get back on track. And Shayna was just like, sure. And I I feel for Shayna. Shayna, it's tough to be able to pull yourself up by your bootstraps in this situation and kind of go, yeah, this is great. We're all jolly and we're all, you know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hi ho, you know, it, it can't be like that because you've been so crushed. These, Todrick and Misha have gone out their way to basically isolate you in this game and... On a game level, yeah, it's a good move, but on a moral level, it's quite awful. And, you know, I'm sure Shayna feels really isolated right now. She had real friendships in that house, and Todrick and Misha came along and destroyed their friendships and her game with a couple of lies. And it's oh, it's so sad, man, honestly. it's But it's big, brother. It's oh, it's, it's tough. It's You know, I do feel sorry for Shayna because she's isolated in the house right now. She's by herself. Um, and the nice thing is, even though Carson has, is believing the lies, he's not being mean to Shayna. So that says a lot about Carson's character. I like that. Whereas Todrick, on the other hand, is saying bad things about Shayna. And there was one point as well, I'll, I'll bring this up as well, where Todrick had said something like, you know, Shayna was um, saying, oh, you, you guys have all got stuff to go back to, you know, with big jobs of dancing and acting and stuff like that. And then Todrick was like, oh, what can I say, Shayna? Like, he was talking about her behind her back and saying, uh, what what can I say, Shana? You know, get more talented, work harder. And I was thinking, is this dude for real? Like, he, he's t- saying Shana should work harder and be more talented. If, in my opinion, Todrick needs to work harder on being a decent human being. That's that's first and foremost. That's that's where I see it. I just, I I do not condone his behaviour at all. I, I I can't sit back and 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 just go, yeah, this is all nice. This is a game because. This is where I stand. I know I hate it. I, I I don't like it when people go, it's just a game. It's not just a game, folks. 
It's not just a game. Playing Monopoly is just a game. This is a social game. And with a social game comes social friendships, social relationships. You can learn to really like people in that house. You can grow close to people. You can grow to love people. It's a strong word, but you can. You can grow to love people in the Big Brother house. We've seen people get married and people have kids from the Big Brother house. It's not just a game. You don't fall in love with someone over Monopoly. Well, I'm sure someone has somewhere, but you, you, can, you, can, you can really grow close to people in Big Brother because it's not just a game. It's a social game. And your emotions get involved, your feelings get involved, and that is the point where it becomes more than a game. It's a social game, not just a game. So I don't like it when people say it's just a game. And I, I feel like I've just reiterated that about five times there, but that's important to know. And I would actually love to hear what everybody else thinks of this, because it's an age-old debate, and I love to hear both sides of it. The question is, folks, is Big Brother just a game? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your explanations on that. Let me know, folks. That is all of your dumpster fire updates for today, folks. See what I did there. Uh, I really hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm sure that there are some very strong opinions today. Uh, and I do want to remind people that remember, although people are going to have strong opinions, remember to be civil with one another. Uh, I don't want to see any arguments in the comment section. I want a nice clean match. No biting, no scratching, no punching, no kicking. Discussion only, folks. Uh, be civil with one another because I'm sure there are going to be some interesting opinions today and I can't wait to see them, to be honest. I'm looking forward to seeing them, folks. But remember to be respectful to one another. Uh, but, folks, let me know how you're feeling, as I said. And um, thank you. Thank you for watching, as always. I really appreciate it. Uh, it seems like we're on a crazy ride right now in the Big Brother house with this crazy past 24 hours. But the game continues. The social game continues. And I'm very, very excited to see where things go. Um, thank you so, so much for watching, folks. Um, I hope that you're all staying safe, staying positive and staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. That's really important. Be kind to one another. But in the meantime... Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Do all of that good stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.